Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American Collector, and Under the Coin Star. And it's episode three of season nine. And I got my brother Matthew in the main seat. And uh, beautiful flowers here. And we're gonna be finding some coin stars on our way up north. And here we are, Paso Robles, with my brother Matthew. What's up, Matt? And uh, here at a Smart and Final, we're going under the coin star. Here it is. Oh, I see a penny in. Oh, and I see a dime up. Great. Oh, pennies in. All right, I see two pennies here and one here. Coin services. And it's 61 cents, no special fines and no silver. And it's the grapevine. Okay, our second stop in the city of Paso Robles. And of this under the coin star is a food for less. And nothing in and nothing up, but in a pretty good location. Matt, what did I just say? Bonanza. <laughs> oh, you can't swear. <laughs> All right, you guys, and I just looked under, and there's so many coins, so we're gonna put some in, and I'm gonna sweep this thing out. Okay, this was an amazing stop, and I didn't see silver yet, but some chance we have it. Okay, it's one, two, 230, 240, 250, 258, and one four in and two copper, so no real special finds, but quite a few coins. Okay, still in Paso Robles and Walmart occupied. All right, we found one penny and that was it. Right, still here in Paso Robles, and it's Albertsons, Save On Pharmacy, and that sign could use some work. All right, we had a great first pass, and we're going in. Okay, three out of four of the coin stars. Oh, that might be silver, maybe not. But three out of four coin stars in Paso Robles were awesome, so let's count this up. And it's two dollars and seventy cents no special fines but five copper and some trash and it's day two of under the coin star episode three season nine and it's walmart and we're in the town of marina and that's out by monterey and salinas so we're gonna be hitting some coastal cities right now real quick all right, nothing in and nothing up. And zero fines. And I'd been to this one before, so I had low expectations already. All right, no fines inside, but penny on the ground, zinking. That's the couple. And it's exactly 40 cents. Oh, and, uh, now I'm going to this chase to see if they have any coins. And we got $100 in nickels, and I put them in an old box I had. And 25 in pennies, and this is also an old box, but we got some great pickups here. Okay, here we are in Pacific Grove, California, home of Pebble Beach. And that's a chase, and this is a lucky. All right, nothing in, and nothing up. All right, what are we doing? And nothing underneath. This area is clean. All right, folks, we were able to get 160. That's 80 for me and 80 for Matthew from this chase. So super happy. And we're gonna open them up right now. <laughs> Let's go. And Matt's not done, but I'm calling it no fines. Still in Pacific Grove, and now it's a Safeway. Oh yeah, we got coins, Matt. We got coins inside. Oh, and up. One up. Oh, sounds copper. And quite a few in. Oh, and just some salty ones. And another perfectly clean underneath, but we did get a couple coins. One nickel, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pennies. So 
13 cents and I see one copper. Oh wait, is that a dime? <laughs> no. And it's lucky in the city of Seaside. Ooh, double coin star. Awesome. Right, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing up. And it's 67 cents. All right, here we are in the city of San Jose at a Safeway. And there's police everywhere. Four cars. So something's going on inside, maybe. Nothing in, nothing out. Nothing in the machine and nothing under, but we did find a penny on the ground. Okay, and the GPS is telling us to go here, grocery store Mercado, California, and we'll see it when we see it. Oops, there it is. <laughs> They did have a coin star and there were zero coins. So moving on. All right, there's my car at the Speedy oil change in San Jose. And we've been here before in the past and now we're in a plaza and there's a food max. So we're going to the coin star and there it is, food max. Another clean one. Beautiful hillside. All right, here at a Walmart in the Dublin Pleasanton area. And we hit quite a few stops, so it's getting kind of crazy. All right, nothing in. And nothing up. Okay, it's 13 cents and two copper pennies. All right, we're at a Lucky in Livermore. And there's like four or five coin stars here. So we're gonna maybe have a big blowout and whatever we find tonight, we'll wrap it up. But we don't have silver yet. And no special, special finds, but still having fun under the coin star. Nothing up and nothing in. Going under. All right. It's 49 cents and one copper penny. Not too good. Next stop in Livermore, it's a Knob Hill. Oh, there it is. Unbelievable. There is one here. And nothing up and nothing in. And we're going under. Empty. And now we're at a Safeway. All right, every coin star is clean underneath in this city. And now we're at Lucky in Livermore, and I'm not feeling very lucky. The dark rainbow. Okay, and kind of secluded, so we're gonna check real quick and then see if we're gonna go get our grabber and stuff. Uh-oh, <laughs> finally got one up and nothing in but one dime so far. Okay, there's only like four coins underneath, but that's like a king's ransom around here. So, so I'm gonna get my scratcher and try one scoop under. <laughs> Down and dirty, one dime, one penny. And that may be it. You got to see it live and in person. Okay, looks like copper. And doesn't look like silver. Well, maybe though. <laughs> okay, it's 22 cents, but we got wheat 
and I think it's a 1940. And it's a 1946S, so pretty cool. Not a bad hunt. Okay, next stop in Livermore is this Safeway, and nothing in, nothing up. Although, here's an awesome Atlas Mason coin jar. Score. <laughs> Okay, it's a nickel, a guitar pick, and a mason jar. And it's Walmart, our last stop in Livermore tonight. And our last stop in this Under the Coin Star, episode three. And we're gonna wrap it up whether I find silver or not. All right, nothing in and nothing up. Let's check real quick under. Okay, folks, and we're going to wrap it up, and that's super sad because we found no silver, but I do have a giveaway, and it's going to be this awesome, I think it's 1937, Ottawa, Bank of Canada. Let me see. Huh. Oh, 1937. Woo! Awesome looking bill. So somebody's going to get that, and then we'll do the wrap. Okay, folks, and we picked one through ten, and it was five. And that brought us to our latest video, ending in a five, 435, Under the Coin Star, Season 8, Episode 8. And three came out, and our winner is... It's Adventures in Michigan with Lisa, and she won again, which is awesome. Back-to-back -back wins for her. Okay, our best find was this Fenning. One Fennig. German. Bundesrepublik Deutschland, 1983. And otherwise, we found 13 copper, one of which was Canadian. And that's it. Really, not so much. And uh, 1946S on the Weedy. I found this uh, long penny in my car, so I found it, you know, in the past. And I don't remember if I took too well a picture of it. In fact, I don't even know where it's from. <laughs> California. Gee, hard to read. All right, I'll figure that out. And so awesome. It's Solvang, California. And uh, that's pretty cool. That's a town here. And that's a cross. And something else going on, a bridge or something. <laughs> Can't really tell. Oh, here we go. Gee. Maybe some type of uh, flag. Or, uh, oh, I got it. It's a windmill. Jeez. And that was found in a nickel roll hunt. But we did find these nickels and these pennies, you know, during this Coinstar pickup, so... Okay, and exactly $7.99, and basically 40 cents per coin star. Thanks for watching, everybody. Better luck in the next one, and uh, congrats to Lisa. Bye.